Gisborne's Kuru Contracting has finally converted its road lining operation to mechanised felling, opting for one of the first Timber Pro levelling harvesters to come into New Zealand, a TL765C to be precise. It's an interesting machine harking back to the Timco of the 1980s and it's no coincidence both owe their existence to the same man, legendary American bushman Pat Crawford. There may be more than 30 years difference between the early cab levelling technology pioneered by Pat and what we see in today's tilting machines, but the principle remains the same, with a cab able to tilt forwards, sideways and sometimes even a bit backwards in order to provide a more comfortable working platform for the operator. Pat sold Timco to Valmet, which in turn was bought by Komatsu Forest and the range of levelling harvesters continues to be produced, with one exception, a top of the range 40 ton model. The last one was the Valmet 475 FXL, which went out of production a while back and was never replaced when Komatsu Forest acquired the business because only a few markets want a harvester of that size. New Zealand is one of them, so Komatsu Forest has kept up its friendly relations with Timber Pro, the company Pat Crawford went on to establish after he sold Timco in order to tap into some of its products, like this Timber Pro TL765C, which handily fills the gap in the 40-ton levelling harvester segment for Komatsu Forest. Ricky Kuru liked the Timber Pro because it has all the things he wanted in this type of machine, including a long track frame that makes it more stable on steeper slopes when dealing with Gisborne's big trees. Ricky's put this machine into the road lining crew run by his daughter Jazz, and it's doing a great job clearing either side of the tracks and bunching stems for the rest of the crew to gather. At the controls is Johnny Hutchins, who started off with Kuru contracting 20 years ago, and it was the opportunity to work with this machine that brought him back. He says it has all the power and stability to deal with the big wood in these parts, especially with the fuel and hydraulic oil tanks now positioned in the track base, which keeps the weight down low. There seems to be a pump for everything, including separate swing and implement pumps, which means there's never any shortage of hydraulic muscle, especially when bringing down trees. You don't want to experience a pause in the middle of guiding a six ton stem to the ground. Providing the power for the flow and drive is the latest version of the venerable Cummins QSL9 six cylinder engine which has been given a hush kit to curb its previously noisy bark. Ricky chose a Woodsman FH1350 felling head for the business end, and both iron tester Sam Keefe and operator Johnny like the fast saw and the wide grapple arms that make shoveling easier. Best of all, they like the fact the levelling system tilts to an impressive 22 degrees forward, which means the cab is sitting upright on all but the steeper slopes and is much more comfortable when working on an angle. A good choice by Ricky and his partner Leanne.